everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today is day seven of our seed sprouting, and um, we're gonna go ahead today and plant them in our hydroponics planters that I have over here. They're not quite set up yet, but I wanted to show you um, our seeds before we transitioned into the planters. I looked at our seeds in our Ziploc baggies and you can tell that they're starting to darken and mold a little bit. So this is the corn. Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today is day seven of our seed sprouting observations and we're uh, moving on to germination and growth and planting in our hydroponic planters. But I wanted to show you our seeds really quick um, because the ones in the Ziploc baggies are starting to mold. Now, since we're going to move them into the hydroponics planters, it's probably not a big deal, but I just wanted to show you that uh, what might happen to your seeds if you plant them in this block baggies. I think they'll still grow fine. These are really doing well, these white bush beans. The corn, you can see a lot of black dots inside mold on that one and mold on that one. The radish seeds are doing really well. And our lima beans are doing really well. And here they are from the seed sprouter. These are the sunflower seeds. They're really doing tremendous. And so are a lot of the beans. There is some um, decay going on in here, but not as much as the baggies. And there's a lot of great roots in here. And here's the peas and the radishes. Um, looks like the, some of the peas are molding in here also. So let's go ahead and um, transition into our hydroponics planters. I have two containers of water over here. So let's get started with that. For this part of the investigation, you're going to need a tub of water, some nutrient powder. It has 10% nitrogen, 22% potash, and 8% phosphoric acid. And the directions say I need a half a teaspoon. And this is about three liters of water. And I need to add nutrient powder every three weeks. I'm going to use my painter stick to stir that up. Next, I'm going to take the seed holders. These are the seed holders. They float in the water and they give the seed support, um, which is what normally the dirt would do in a garden. And then I'm going to open my baggie and take out my seeds. And then place it in my seed sprouter. So there's holes here that open up. Can you see that? And I'm gonna stick my seed stem in there carefully so I don't snap it. Look 
like so. And then it will sit in the water like that. And I'll put some supports as they grow so that the top of the plant will have more support. And I'll go ahead and do this for, let's see, I have six, we'll try one of each plant. So that's, this is the white bush bean. Take one of the corn. Now remember in a monocot or the corn, uh -oh, the cotyledon stays underground. So that's why the cotyledon on this one is gonna be above ground, but the cotyledon on this one is gonna be underground. And then I'll take one of the lima beans. Try one of the radishes. Now these are a little bit fragile. When I pull the plant up, the roots stick to the paper towel. Okay, here's one. All right, perfect. There we go. Oh, oh, my corn fell out. Now, because the cotyledon is on the bottom, it has a tendency to slip out. I'm not exactly sure what to do about that yet. So let me think about that and move on to my peas. Now the pea is another one where the cotyledon stays underground. So I might need to look for one that has Hmm. I'll try this one. See how it's curly cued on top? That might hold it in the um, in the planter in the seed holder. perfect. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, sunflower seeds. So that's one downside of the paper towels is the roots grow into the paper towel and when you remove them, some of the roots break off. There we go. All right, so I think I'm gonna, I. There's one corn 
that looks like a curly Q. I'm going to try that one instead, and hopefully that'll stay in like our P did. It's much shorter, so it's, I don't know if it's going to go in there. You know what? I'm going to try this one. I think this is the original one. Yeah, that might be too straight. Let's try this one. It's curled, but it's a little bit longer. I might need these to grow a little more. It's not going to go in. So let's move on to our other one. Actually, let's move these out of the way. Okay. So let's pick a nice big one. Actually, this one looks great. Get the roots on that one. Pop that one in. Here's a here's a nice corn seedling. Do you see what I'm doing? Slipping them into these slots like so. And then I need a white bean. Oh, actually, look at this one. This one looks fantastic. Let's put that one in. Yes. This one goes in right there. So all the roots are coming out the bottom, and all the stems are coming out the top. Let's move on to our sunflower seeds. Let's see, this one. not as big as I thought it was going to be, but that's all right. Stick that in there. Okay, and I think that's all that's in there. Next, our radish and our peas. Oh, it's a big jumbled mess in here. Here's a nice one. There's a lot to choose from, but they are very tangled. Hmm. 
it's kind of hard to tell which one is radish and which one is peas. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so now we'll put them in the water. Actually, let me pick a corn from here. This one's a nice specimen. I'm gonna put that one in here. So here you can see what they look like on the bottom. All the roots are on the bottom and all of the seedlings are on the top. And put those in the nutrient rich water. And here's the other one, all the roots on the bottom. Now the, the corn cotyledon is on the bottom whereas the lima bean cotyledons are on the top. The pea cotyledon is on the bottom. And the bush bean cotyledon is on the top. We'll put those in the nutrient water and see how they grow. We'll check back in, uh, actually, maybe we'll check back tomorrow and see how much they grow. Here are our hydroponic planters. All the seeds are nicely inserted in their seed slots or their seedling slots. And the roots are all in the nutrient water. I should probably tuck that root down. But we'll check in every few days to see how they are growing. And until then, have a great day.